What's going on YouTube? This is EDT and today I kind of want to do a follow-up of my iPad Air but a little different. You see I'm not just going to talk about the specs and how good of a device it is. What I wanted to talk to you about was my experience and how I've been using it especially since I'm running the iPad OS 16 beta. So I've always wanted to use this device as a productivity machine as well as an artistic machine and we know that Apple has always asked the question ever since the first iPad, what is a computer? And I got the answer, not the iPad. But that's not necessarily a bad thing because I've learned that it depends on how you plan on using it and actually some accessories that can change the way you see your iPad, especially running iPad OS. So let's jump in. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into what iPad OS 16 brings, but I will talk about one of the more popular new features, and that is Stage Manager. You see, I was very excited to give this a try because for the longest time, I've always wanted better multitasking on iOS and iPad OS devices. So when Apple decided to unveil Stage Manager, I was very excited. Thankfully, I had just gotten my M1 powered iPad Air, so I definitely owned the compatible iPad to handle it. Now, in the first beta, I gotta say, I was extremely underwhelmed. Second beta, still underwhelmed. Now, pretty underwhelmed. It's not that it's bad, it's just on an 11 inch screen, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I think I would have preferred them to focus on making it easier to kind of have the snap layouts. So one of my favorite multitasking features is actually on Windows 11. It's weird because you know I know how people, a lot of people fill out windows but they make it very intuitive so if I drag a window to the corner it kind of shows me like a uh, not quite a silhouette but where it would snap to and then you can select the other side that would have been great on the iPad but instead we have a different implementation which isn't bad per se I've gotten kind of used to it thankfully it's optional so you'll have a sidebar and you'll have your window and you can kind of move things around. The more I played with it, the better I got with it. But this led me to realize it really depends, for me at least, on which case I'm using and what I plan on doing with the iPad at that moment. Let me uh, explain. My main case is a Apple Folio style case from ESR, one of my favorite brands but it's super thin, super light, great for media consumption because you could set it up as a stand and for art because it's super lightweight and you keep that thinness of the iPad Air. Using Stage Manager with this made no sense because in this state and with this case, it is primarily either being used for watching Netflix or Hulu or being used for me to hold and draw. Now, iPad is amazing when it comes to my art. So in this setup that I have, I love it. It's nice and thin, which is great for when I'm standing around drawing something. But some of the extra features in iPad OS stand out. I can't remember the exact name. I think it's called Live Copy or Live Images. But what it does is it allows me to actually pull an image and copy and paste it throughout the OS. Now that sounds very simple, but when you see how it cuts the outlines of an image, I can have a complex image and pull just one character out and move it to Procreate, which if you're an artist comes in handy because sometimes we need references. Sometimes I struggle to draw on hands or feet, but I can pull something and kind of take a look at it, um, kind of get the feel for it. I've even taken photos of myself in weird poses so that I can draw pictures over myself and use it as a reference for art. Therefore, I'm not stealing someone else's pose or image, I'm using my own, but being able to cut me out of the frame almost perfectly and throw me in an image and put a layer on top of it has been fantastic. So for art, I absolutely love that feature with this case. But what about using it for other productivity means such as script writing or research or I'm about to take a specific course to expand my education well that's when I realized having either a the magic keyboard 
or any third party option that offers similar features is the best. And not just the best for those things, but the best when you use Stage Manager. I have the Zag keyboard case. I can't remember the exact name. It is amazing. It's very bulky, so I don't use it for when I'm doing art. But when I am writing scripts, it has a nice keyboard. When I am doing research, I can actually have multiple windows using Stage Manager. And when I add in my Pebble mouse from Logitech, it becomes kind of like a laptop. It doesn't have all the same features or, you know, software uh, compatibilities as, you know, a MacBook or a Windows laptop. But for research, for script writing, for just note taking, reminders, all those things is when the productivity side shines. Still doesn't quite match up to what you would expect out of a laptop because you don't have the best video editing, but it's nice, it's precise, and it feels a little bit like a computer. It's still not quite a computer, but it feels a little bit like a computer. That's when having multiple windows really shines. Because for one instance, I might be writing a script or planning the next video, and I struggle with, well, what's my next idea gonna be? So I might throw open another YouTube window and start watching a couple of videos from some of my favorite creators to kind of inspire me to make something. And then when they give me an idea, I can pause it, click to that next window, start typing up some ideas that I have. I really like that. I really like that. It's <laughs> one of those things that actually I never thought I would do on an iPad. And I tell you this, if iPads existed when I was in college or when I was in high school, that was way too long ago, don't worry about that. I would not have been as bad of a student as I was. Students, almost every student should probably have an iPad or a similar tablet because this thing makes learning on the go a breeze. For this course I'm about to take, I cannot wait to have it on my iPad because it's online and I can just carry it around wherever I go. I can sit in the coffee shop, throw on my Bluetooth headphones and just relax. I love that idea and I'm happy I waited so long to make this video because at first I was completely completely underwhelmed with the productivity of the iPad Air. But the more I played with it, the more I gave it a chance, and actually the less I thought about it, the more it showed me its worth. I also learned that to get the best out of it, look into the accessories. This is my Zag Folio case. Now, the only thing it's missing is the trackpad, but you pop it in here, it has its own separate case that's magnetic, a backlit keyboard, and a strap, for my Apple Pencil. And then there's this guy from ESR. Looks almost identical to the Apple Folio case, but one of the best parts is this strap. I use this when I'm doing my art or my photo editing or just watching anything on the go. These two cases I love because when I slap another one on, it changes how I use the device. And that's where I learned the true value of my iPad Air and increased my experience with it. It's not just a device, that device is a tool. But when you add things onto it, you can change how it affects your life. So having two different cases alone made me use my iPad in two very different ways depending on what I need. Yes, my Zag Folio is a tad bit heavy. And yes, as light as this is, it doesn't have a keyboard but I don't always need a keyboard and I don't always need it to be super light. So my experience has been this, the iPad Air with iPad OS, despite its bugs and despite the room for improvement, is a very, very versatile device that I did not expect to impact my life the way it did. Now, that's the good of it. There is still some bad. Stage Manager needs a lot of work. I'm glad we can actually do the image scaling, but it feels like it's designed for the bigger iPads. And with the rumor of there being a 14 inch iPad Pro coming out, I think Apple had that idea. So if you're someone like me who likes to have a smaller iPad, you might find yourself struggling a little bit. I don't like that. I wish they would have made it work for everybody. The same way there's certain features that you could only use with M1 that we know you shouldn't have to, but that's a different conversation. I love the fact that I can connect this to my monitor even if it's a, like, it doesn't improve my usage too much because 
I have my desktop. Anything I need to do, I'm just gonna use my desktop. I'm not gonna connect my, my iPad to my monitor. Maybe if I'm gonna do some photo editing, I wanna put it on my 1440p screen. But for the most part, some of those other features I haven't even really touched. It's just been stage manager and everything built in that we have for the longest time with the iPad. I do wish they would improve the multitasking a bit, give us some better multi-window options or the ability to save like two apps as one multi-screen window or something. I don't know, but there's a lot of room for improvement. We need to see some pro level apps, but as of now, it's a great versatile device for students people who are doing some light photo editing, as I'm just learning, it's been really good. Artists, it's amazing for, but still not quite a computer. You, know? you don't get that studio level video editing or the full version of Lightroom. You don't have as much app support and some of the apps built for iPads still don't have big screen mode. Like Instagram is still the worst case. We also just got a weather app and we still don't have a built-in calculator app. So it's great. There's a lot of room for improvement, but as of now, keep it simple. Make sure you know how you plan on using it and maybe get you some accessories that can work perfectly for your usage. I'll probably link these accessories in the uh, description. That way, if you want to pick some up, you can go for it. But until then, I give my iPad Air experience uh, 7.5, maybe eight out of 10. I see a lot of room for improvement. I use it more than I thought I would, but also I was let down with some of the ways they implemented some of these cool changes. The, I, the, they have the right idea to kind of go in there, but I think they're holding themselves back because I don't think they want to cannibalize their Mac sales, which I think is the wrong idea, but hey, I'm only me, they're Apple. They probably know better than me. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys love your iPad OS 16 experience or what you want to see change or what accessories you guys have. But until then, thanks for letting me talk about tech. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.